Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I'm going to show you an app sheet tutorial on how you can build an app with no coding involved. Alright, so now here we are in appsheet.com and the first thing that you would need to do, of course, is to log in or sign up if you don't have an account. And in my case, I used a Google account in order for me to sign in right here, so you can also do that. And now, here we are in the dashboard of AppSheet. So this is the dashboard and we'll be discussing the features right here very quickly. So the first one is the create button right here. So you can create an app or the database. And from app, you can start with existing data. You can start with a template if you'd want, which is very easy. And then you can start with a blank app if you would want to. And in the database, you can start with new database or you can just import from sheets right here. And then the recent view right here, you have this. So this is where you can see your recent projects that you have opened or created. You can see it right here. And uh, shared with me right here, you would have the projects right here on apps and databases uh, on the projects that is shared to you by other people. So you can see it right here. And by the way, it's the same for the recent one. You have your apps and databases. So they are separated in views right here. And then you have your own by me section. So you can see the apps and databases that you have created right here and uh, templates, of course. So from here in the templates, you can see a lot of templates available for you in AppSheet, depending on what you want for your app. So let's say you want an app for a field delivery, then you can just click here on copy and then you would be able to import this into here, into your own creation. Or you could just click on explore if you're not yet sure of that app and you want to know more about it. So now that you know about the templates right here, let's start on creating an app. So click on create and click on the app right here. And from here, we're going to go start with the template. In this way, we won't have to start from scratch and we would have minimal uh, effort needed to do in order for us to build an app right here because the databases is done for us when we start with the template right here and so on. So let's select a template. So let's say we want a, a project tracker right here. So we want to create an app for project tracker. And if you're not sure if you want this template, you, just, you can just click on explore right here and it's gonna load right here. So uh, let's just wait for a bit. And you can just have this right here. So as you can see, you have look under the hood right here and you can see it right here. So you can just test the app right here if this is what you want. And you can view this, you can click on the buttons right here and so on. So when you are sure, then you can click on copy and customize and after that you can name your app right here and this would be imported into your dashboard so let's say we want this to be my sample uh, tutorial right there and we're gonna go and categorize this as planning and project management because this is a project tracker right here and click on copy app and now it is now setting our app and then all we have to do now is wait for it to finish all right, and now as you can see right here, we now have our template available for us. And then as you can see right here, this is our uh, testing pane right here. So you can view it in tablet mode or in mobile mode right here. So you can also click the stops right here and you can test it out right here. So this is our template right here. As you can see, it's all done for us, the databases and so on. And this is our homepage right here. So we'll be discussing each of this one right here very quickly. And then from here, as you can see in the home page, you can click to edit and so on. So this is more of an introductory part on what you can do here in AppSheet. And we're going to proceed into the info right here. So from here, as you can see, there is a warning on scheduled events, scheduled reminders for incomplete tasks, which are due today, only triggered when app is in deployed state right here. So you don't need to pay attention to the, for this for now. Uh, so let's just skip this in the infos right here. So you can see your errors right here in the infos and you can see your properties, app properties and so on. And your dashboard of course on this uh, specific app. And you can see the app usage, app performance and so on. And of course your spec right here. So this is a fun graph right here. So you have your complete, your in progress, work stream, pending task. Since this is a project management app right here, so you can have the complete pending task not started in progress and so on right here. So you can see it in graph view or you can click here and see it in a uh, list view right here. And then the next thing is the data right here. So from here, you can see the tables, the columns, the slices, the user settings, the options. So the table right here, you can always create a table right here. But as you can see, we now have our databases and you can see it here in the data 
that is done for us right here in this template so we have our notes and so on but you can always add a more data right here if you need that then you can click on new table and you can add new data from google sheets from your google drive or maybe from app sheet database right here so you can also do that and then from the columns right here as you can see you can also view it in columns you can view it in slices right here as you can see you have this right here for the slices and for the user settings you have this and so on right there so as you can see there are different in each one so in the columns you have your notes work streams people and tracker in the slices you have your complete in progress uh not started pending task and so on right there and you can just always test them out right here so for example in the complete one and you click on complete right here we have our uh, rows right here and you can see it right here on project a you have your issues and so on right here so you can just monitor it right here and you can edit it right here so for example on this one right here you can edit this this is where you can edit the slice columns and so on the row number the task work stream completed and so on so you can also do that right here and then the next one is the ux right here so from here this is where you can edit your brand right here you can see uh edit the design of your app right here but take note that the branding here in AppSheet is not really that um, very high quality like that so you can, it is uh it will surface if you are just a beginner then you can just go here on brands and then you can just edit the colors right here but as you can see it's it's, it's just very limited right here but you can edit the colors and i think this is already enough if you're just a beginner or just you're just looking forward to creating a simple app then this is enough right here but if you want to the highest quality of controls or modifications into your branding of your app then you would need to uh, do it in another way maybe you can hire somebody to code it for you or so on since this is a no code app builder so this is all the options that you have right here in the branding and you can see the views right here you can see the primary views the menu views right here and so on so you can add a new view if you would need to and you have your format reels right here and you have your options right here and you can localize uh, something right here so you have your customized system text so yes would mean yes right here and you can customize it you can click on this button right here if you would want to uh, make this right here as you can see it is the coding right here but we don't want to mess with this one since we do we don't want to involve ourselves with coding that is why we are here in app sheet right here and then the next one is the behavior so from here the behavior is a really good a feature of app sheet right here because as you can see actions are operations that can modify data in your apps or transitions the user to a different view right here so you can always add an action right here so for example in the notes file you can go and open a file right here by using this action right here and then from here you can also go to a link or go to external websites right here using this one right here and this is already uh, done for us by the template and that is why template is very essential for this one right here and then the next one is the automation so this is where you can set your automations in your apps right here so you can go for bots right here and you can click a new bot right here and as you can see we already have a bot right here that is provided to us by the template and you can click on new bot and then you can create a new bot right here and you can go for suggestions right here if you would want to but you can also create a custom bot and then from here you can configure the name right here so sample bot right here and then from here you can go for the uh, condition on which this uh, bot would start working so you can configure an event so from here let's say when someone is when someone schedules reminders for incomplete tasks which are due today and then the action when this one happens is that we're going to add a step right here this is the action so we we can go for return values from this process this is just this is just an example right here just to uh, show you how it's done and then from here so this is how it would look like right here so every time that the schedule reminders for incomplete task which are due today right here would exist then this uh, action will be triggered by the bot right here so it would return values from this process right here and you can uh, select the values and so on right there and you have your options right here and documentations and so on and so forth so now that we're done with this one then you can just go and click on test if you would like to test your bot 
and then you can monitor you can copy or you can delete or you disable your bots right here so you have these options and then the next one is the event so from here you can see that we have now have a tracker right here and you can click on new event so if you have some conditions that you want to be set here in your apps then you can click here on new events and you have your processes right here and you have your tasks and then the next one is the uh, right here we have a button right here to add a new task so you can click on that and then from here you can send an email send a notification so this is an automated one so this is really helpful in order for you to have less uh, burden on your uh, on your side on committing your efforts right here so that you so that you don't have to send an email one by one right here so it will be automated by a bot so this is a really handy feature right here in AppSheet and yeah that is basically it for the tasks cover the bot events and processes and then the next thing is the security so from here you can go for your security in your apps right here you can go for a authentication provider you can go for google right here for your sign-ins and so on and basically these are for your securities so depending if you would want your app to be really secure then you can just set it up but if you're just looking for something simple, then I doubt that you just uh, I doubt that you would need to be very meticulous with this one right here. And then the next one is the intelligence right here. This is the best feature that I think is here in AppSheet because you can add AI, you can incorporate AI into your uh, app right here without any coding involved. So you can go with a smart assistant so that you can interact with your app using natural language and so on right here and you have your enable smart assistant so you, in this way you can use voice command in your app so that you can interact with it and you can just enable it right here and you can go for your locale so you this is basically the language that you would set so in my case i'll just go for english in the united states and then the next one is the predictive model right here so you can go for a predictive model which would allow you to use machine learning to make predictions based on your data so you so this is basically an ai that would study your data and in that way it would uh continuously learn from your data as you add more data into it and it would be able to make accurate decisions based on what you have set for it to do so you can click on new predictive model and you can see the model name you have your training data table right here you can make it as a tracker or column to predict right here you have your middle inputs or your data right here that you can add so yeah depending on your niche or your app that you're trying to build it would be very subjective right here and you have your OCR model so from here you can go and create an OCR model which would allow you to extract structured data from your images right here so this would be really good if you have your uh, uh, app would involve some images right here so you can use the OCR so that your AI would be able to extract some structured data from your, from your images and yeah so basically your AI would be able to study the images that is in your apps and would give you data from it and now the last one is the manage right here so you can see the uh, deployment so you can deploy your apps right here your branded apps right here so right here in the author you can see your author your plan requirements your teamwork right here and you can share this uh, project right here so we'll be discussing that later on but you also have your transfer and so on right here so this is basically where you can manage your app or project as a whole right here you can monitor it you can broadcast notifications right here you can go for integrations or you can include other apps right here into your apps so that you would have more features if you would want that and then you have your versions right here your version history app upgrade and stable version and so on right here so now that we are done with this one right here the next thing is that we're gonna go click here on not deployed and as you can see right here it would load and you can run a deployment check right here if you would want that and as you can see it says that this app has two warnings and this is where you can check your uh, deployment status if there is something wrong with your app then it would be detected right here and from here you can start and fixing those errors and then you can continue and deploying your app so that's that and then the next thing that we're going to discuss is this controls right here so from here you can switch to improved editor so when you click on this one right here as you can see the ui would change right here so it would just depend on which one you're com comfortable on so in this case i'll be comfortable with this one but if you want this then you can also do it right here 
And then the next one is the help one. So if you have your questions, then you can just search for it right here. And you can see the video tutorials, the community forum, the contact support right here. You can contact a live agent right here or you can email them. And then you basically can access it right here on any help that you need. And then from here in this button, you can basically see your apps right here. So it would be back to your dashboard right here. And from here, you can see that you can share your apps right here. You can just simply go and input their email address and so on right here. And then the next one is this one you can share your, I mean, this one is to undo button. So you can undo and redo by clicking on this buttons right here. And you can save your app right here. So if you want to save some changes, then you can click it right here. And yeah, that is basically it for the beginner's tutorial on AppSheet on how you can build your app, how you can edit it, and so on. So I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.